when talking about deciduous forests, you don't know where to start, so let's begin with some simple facts. As you can see here, deciduous forests grow in the eastern part of North America, very south, South America, much of Europe, far west and far east Asia, and on the country and continent of Australia. These forests receive an average of 30 to 60 inches of precipitation a year and have an average temperature of 50 degrees. In this very simplified food web, you can see some types of herbivores, carnivores, and who eats what. Rodents like the eastern chipmunk and European red squirrel eat things that come from trees. Deer eat grass, birds eat seed. Opossums, birds, and skunks eat insects. Foxes and owls eat rodents and birds. Bears and cougars eat rodents also, and bears and cougars eat deer. All these animals and interactions can be found in a deciduous forest. Of course, in a forest, there must be trees and in a deciduous forest there are many types of trees including beech, birch, buckeye, magnolia, sugar maple, oak, American basswood, and hickory. In a deciduous forest the major decomposers are bacteria and fungi. Since deciduous forests have four distinct seasons, plants and animals have adapted and evolved ways to survive them, especially the bitterly cold winter. Animals, such as the black bear, have adapted by being able to grow thick coats to warm themselves and are able to hibernate for long periods of time. Most of the trees in deciduous forests have leaves so when it's cold out in winter, they can lose the leaves and be able to keep more resources inside. Today, deciduous forests face many problems, including logging, snowmobilers who run over rodents, and campers that leave waste and spread chemicals by spraying for insects. So don't just think of deciduous forests as trees, think of it as nature in action. And if someone ever asks you where Theodore Roosevelt killed a cougar, you can bet it was in a deciduous forest.